I'll sing for you, play for you, fly, had a meadow and I hear it in the Brad, Nelly I've got to talk to you and Stella. What's the matter? You look worried. I am. Let's get back to your office. Right, come on. I never loved me. I'll sing for you, play for you, a dulcet melody. I Nelly, oh Nelly. Oh, forget it. Paul, darling. What's the matter? Paul well, thinks the world's caving in on him because the army canceled his contract. Well, listen it. How am I going to pay you back that 20000 you loaned me to finance that contract? I told you that was the last thing you had to worry about. And if you never pay me back, so what? I've lost more than 20000 out there on the turn of a card. Well, that's nonsense. Is it? It wouldn't be fair. Now, look, you're being ridiculous. You get a little jolt and you go off half-cocked. Nobody's lost anything yet. You can lick this thing and you can unload those supplies. Well, I want to, but how? I've racked my brain for the answer. You tell me. You'll figure something out, and I'll help you. I'll go on home and sleep on it. It'll be all right, darling. I know it. Maybe you're right. I guess with a friend like you, Brad, a fellow just can't lose. You skip the bouquets. I'll see you in the morning. Good night, darling. Good night. And as for you, young lady, you'd better be on that Crockerville stage in the morning to go get that wedding dress, or I'll fetch it for you. Brad Roberts, I don't know how to say it. You're, you're just so... Crazy. Let my main attraction get away. Place will be like a morgue when you're gone. Brad, you're not fooling me. All right, so I'm not fooling you. But Paul's tops. I wouldn't want to lose to a better man. Thanks, Brad. Well, I better change and get back to work. What happened to him? He got shot. What about the telegraph supply base, you reckon? We couldn't quite finish it. A couple of strangers showed up. We left in a hail of bullets. Well, tell him about it later. You gotta help me before I bleed to death. Better tighten that tourniquet. That bullet's got to come out quick. Well, give me a slug of whiskey and get it out. Tell Lou to give you a bottle of whiskey. Come here and look. The two that ran us off, they must have spotted our horses. You can't take that bullet out now. He's liable to yell his head off. You get out the back way and get rid of the horses. I'll handle this. Well, what are you going to do? Well, make it look like he shot himself. Get that doctor in here legitimately. Now go on, get the horses away. Lou, get Doc Watson quick. Steve, the drunken fool, just shot himself in the leg. Wait a minute, bartender. We just left Dr. Watson's office. He's not in. Well, try his house. Get him somewhere. Hey, uh, we see the wounded man? Maybe we can be of some help. Uh, thank you, sir. We'll manage. I want to thank you, Brad, for getting this man to do the job. What about the man who got shot? Steve's going to be laid up for quite a long time. Of course. I didn't think. He's entitled to something. Well, of course not. Didn't I tell you you were lucky she was out of town for a while? Thanks again. He's all right. He's cheap as dirt. He just saved himself about $50,000. What did he pay for it? A measly four hundred. Yeah, that is kind of cheap. How'd you like to make yourself some real money? Sort of a second installment on the same deal. Say about $10,000. What do you mean on the same deal? Manning started this, but I'm going to finish it in a way that'll put a noose around his neck before he knows what hit him. And I don't think Terry Muldoon's going to wait for the law to do it either. But I thought you were his friend. Let's say I have my own reasons for wanting to get even with Paul. Now, are you interested? Sure, I'm interested. When and where do I get the second installment? You know the road to Crockerville? Yeah. Well, I happen to know that tomorrow morning's stage, going over that road, is going to be carrying Terrence Muldoon. Right here's Rocky Pass. Now, at this point on the road... Stay 
stay out here and keep your eyes peeled. Hola, how'd it go? Fine. What about Muldoon? Dead as a doornail. Good. We had to plug the driver, too. Say, why didn't you tell me that queen of yours was going to be on that stage? Stella? Sure. We had to take this away from her just to make it look good. If you laid your filthy hands on her, I'll break every bullet. Oh, wait a minute. Take it easy. Nobody touched her. You think I'm crazy? I've known all along what she means to you. That happens to be my business. All right, that's your split. You can take care of Joe out of that. Wait a minute. Nobody said anything about there being a split. You didn't think I wasn't going to cut in on this, did you? Now take your money and get going. And burn that satchel on the way. doing back here? Something wrong? It all depends on how you look at it. Manning was arrested, all right. And the Muldoon girl's on her way to lynch him. Well, that's exactly what I wanted. I wouldn't say exactly, because Stella's still going to marry Manning. Well, how can she with him locked up in jail, about to be lynched? I didn't say he was still in jail. Wait a minute. Stop playing cat and mouse with me and stop talking in circles. I'm trying to tell you that the cowpoke and the Mexican don't like lynchings. They're taking Manning to Crockerville until the heat is off. Stella's going with him? No, but she's going to follow him in time to marry him Sunday anyway. Looks like you went to a lot of trouble for nothing. You think so? Here's a thousand dollars. Get out on that Crockerville road and stop Manning. Just a thousand? I'd say the job's worth five thousand. And it still wouldn't cost you anything. You want all the Muldoon payroll, huh? That's right. I'm taking Joe along so we won't miss. Joe wasn't very happy with his cut the last time. All right, here's the rest of it. Thanks. I'll see you in town later. I'll have some news for you. What's the matter? Didn't you get him? No, and they got Joe. I just broke away by the skin of my teeth. Those two cowpokes were too smart and too fast for us. What do you mean they got Joe? Where'd they take him? I should stick around to find out and maybe give Manning a chance to spot me. If Joe keeps his mouth shut, we're in the clear. If he does, you stupid ox, we can't afford to take that chance. Well, I know we hit Manning, but I don't think we killed him. You think? What with? Well, we got to catch up with him before Joe talks. And this time I'll be along to see that you don't miss. Go round up some of the boys. I'll go out the back door and meet you outside of town. Yeah, sure. And that's where they are, even the Mexican. Practically in your lap, Brad, right in your own house. That's your break. Especially for you. Come on, before that Mexican tells them enough to make them run. Two horses. Paul would have put his horse in the barn since he's hiding out. Manning! Manning! We know you're in there, Paul, with Holt and that Mexican. If you don't come out in two minutes, we're coming after you from all sides. Get a torch going and pitch it in that open window. Burn your own house down? Why not? Charred embers and human bones can't talk. Now get going.
wrong about Paul Manning, Terry. There's the man you were after. Sorry it had to end this way, but where sometimes things happen. 